Uh, welcome to the Talking Markets Video Game Podcast. My name is Matt Eads, joined by Kevin Barr. Hey, hey. Brandon Lynch, whose camera is taking him to the Matrix. Well, I'm, where am I going? <laughs> He's like, Did you, it's like you just took the red pill and all the, the liquid metal is covering you. Oh. And you're like, yeah, it's, it's it wild. starts getting all the way out crazy. <laughs> Is it better? Is it fixing itself? Am I supposed to be seeing this too, problem? or is everybody else on acid? Oh. I was going to say, I feel fine. <laughs> where it's on where the will stream. you be when the acid hits? Yeah, it's on the stream. Uh, it'll, um, it'll, it'll sort itself up. Uh, Kyle B is here as well. Hello, hello. And my I good friends on the suck. motorcycles. <laughs> uh, yeah, we got you a mic. Fancy. Still going to be till... Fuck, what's uh, that like? Let's... I've been on this show for 22 years. I don't have a mic. <laughs> I thought about getting one over to Brando, but after the, like, we couldn't get your headset to work, what are the chances we're going to get a board and a separate mic and, like, and different lines oh, in? Oh, because of the laptop? Yeah. yeah all the, all the screwing around, I figured, yeah. might be yeah. a, a bit of a lost cause. Mm -hmm. uh, hi, welcome. How's everybody doing? Another week? Good. Vaccines I'm... draw. Warren Barris qualifies for vaccine. I think he, he said he's in the system. Jealous. Me oh, too. I should look that up and see if there's anything I can do to qualify. Uh, one of the pre-existing health conditions is hospitalization for mental illness, and one of them includes Ooh. depression, which I could fake right now. I could go to the hospital right now for my depression. I mean, you and... just have to fake the visit, right? Yeah, well, I just got it. depression have to... is as real as the, fucking yeah, Saturday. No, I, don't, I, don't need, I don't need to fake the depression at all. I just need yeah. to fake that I need to go to the hospital for it. The yeah. hospitalization is the key. Yeah, it's been a week. I don't know. I was telling you guys a little bit earlier. Um, my my not landlord. The landlord I know pretty well because they live on on the in the same building as me. The owner of the building, uh, I guess, got the wrong suite. Someone else on this floor moved out, and the owner of the building earlier in the week just tried to let themselves into my suite. And uh, the only the only thing that stopped them, thankfully, they just they didn't knock nothing. Or if they did, I didn't did not hear them. Uh, I just heard the door unlock and like heard it hit my. I have a dead bulb on the inside for this exact fucking situation <laughs> and they're like dunk dunk and it was like my first thought I'm like oh it's finally happening three years and someone is breaking in and yeah. they're like well it's like 2 30 in the afternoon on a thursday so that's perfect seems, time that seems pretty suspect but i'm gonna grab this kitchen knife just in case mm -hmm. and what uh what size knife are we talking about here are we uh, talking my, about my like just like knife? a steak knife or no my like my my 12 inch chef's knife yeah big enough that it, it looks like a big, like a big, uh, chef. you ever see Cooking with Chef Eats? The uh, knife. Yeah. The have, knife, yes. you know? It'll the do knife? Some damage. Yeah. So your cooking knife and stabbing knife are the same knife? Because that's yeah. unsanitary. Yeah. Well, I've never, I've never had to use it yet for self-defense. It's like the scissors. I have food scissors for, like, you know, cutting up chickens, roast chickens and stuff. And uh, the first time they get used not on food, then they're not food scissors anymore. The first time okay. I have to stab somebody, then the knife will be a not stabbing cooking knife, knife anymore. Purely yeah. stabbing knife? Yeah, it'll be a piece of evidence. If <laughs> you legitimately thought someone was trying to break into your house, mm -hmm. but the deadbolt was covering it and you were inside, would you consider just going up to the door and being like, yo, I'm home. Let's just both go our separate ways <laughs> That's here. kind of what I did, because I thought they were. Yeah. I, I didn't know who it was. And I'm like, I've called the police and I'm armed, was all I said. Yeah. <laughs> and, and they're like, oh, we we got the wrong suite, I guess. No one was supposed to be here. I'm like, okay. Please call the police back and tell them not to come. I, yeah, That's I, exactly I, what a robber would say, I told and it wouldn't them. even be inaccurate. I told them that I'd called the police when I hadn't. And, uh, <laughs> and then they, they're like, oh, wrong suite, sorry. I'm like, oh, ooh, that was close. Anyways, lock the door back up. And as they're walking away, it's like, wait, why, why do you guys have a key to this suite? What the fuck? They're like, oh, I'm the owner. I'm like, hmm, okay. Fuck. I've never seen <laughs> this guy before. Seems like that adds up actually. also <laughs> quite unmasked well. which really just mm, maybe got me the worst yeah on walking style. around in his own house really right it's public space a public <laughs> apartment hallways are included in the mask mandate there was somebody here cleaning carpets yesterday who wasn't wearing their mask and i phoned their company and was like this fucker's not wearing his mask and they're like oh let's, let's tell him to get it on sorry about that half an hour later no mask so i <laughs> narked on him to has or ahs hell yes called the called the covid cops on them they probably didn't do shit either they called um, me back they're still putting that fucking fence around the church yeah. <laughs> they called me back at 8 a.m and they said it wasn't their first complaint they're like oh, actually we've got a few for this so we'll uh, we'll escalate this like, good you clowns the guy's been murdered the next yeah. day 
just disappears off the face of the earth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Little do they know it was all three of those multiple complaints were from Eads. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's just over. I gotta yeah. it's the how to get away with murder. It's the perfect the perfect yeah. crime. Mm-hmm. Uh yeah, it's been uh I don't know. It's been a week. I wanna get vaccinated and just I feel like my life I, I right now I think my life will be less stressful once I'm fully vaccinated, but in reality it probably won't. Just feel Wait like till a, you get a roommate. Yeah. Well that's yeah. hopefully it's gonna help the well it's gonna help the financial side of it. Yeah, it's can't guarantee it'll help the stress side of it. No, especially <laughs> hopefully by the time we move in, we're vaccinated. If we're moving in for June the first, then hopefully late May we can. It'll, he'll be vaccinated, but doesn't help me none. But even still, yeah. like I, I don't know va- variants. You know, you're reading about well, maybe the vaccines aren't as effective, and I don't know. I read the news every day, and it's always bad news. Yeah, it's yeah. never like, hey, we're coming people out good here. People actively seek out the bad news. There's lots of good news out there. People don't want to look at it. That's it's why true. we don't put it at the front well, of the yeah. news. Or good news is, isn't as interesting. It's proportionately, yeah. the bad news is so much more bad. Than right. The, the good lo- good news never feels like it's going to change your life. The bad yeah. news does. Yeah. yeah you, it's guys been... have been in, you guys have been in your bubbles anyways, right? Yeah. Well, so I've been, like I've been you guys good. are out mingling. Out I mean, bubble, I'm so. the most at risk. Um, yeah. Because of my job, but uh, make Warren, up my swinger parties that you go to. That's right. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, Warren, I can speak as someone who lived with Warren. Warren, don't go out, do shit. My my type of roommate. That's yeah. the roommate you need during <laughs> yeah. these times. Yeah. Uh, but even like I like I try and go for a, a little walk every day at least to get some exercise. Even like yesterday, yeah. I just had a runner pass <clears throat> me on the street, no mask, like just ran right past me. Great. If that individual. I am now at risk. That individual had it. That was definitely close enough. That person was huffing and puffing as they ran past. Like, you just can't, you just can't win. You just can't win. No. I don't wear my mask. I guess I do now. Well, I have to wear my mask when I walk. But previously didn't, thinking like, well, we can, you know. Um, even if we're coming the opposite directions on a sidewalk, we can give each other like 20 feet if we really wanted to. But, uh, yeah. I don't, just, uh, just on top of me. On top of me this week. <laughs> Uh, do you guys play any video games? Happy WrestleMania weekend, also. Of course, yes. You the guys, greatest weekend of them all. You guys play any video? I played some games. I tried out that Forza Eliminator mode after watching. Oh, okay, you we it. have to. Pizza. What? What do you call the What do you call the Italian uh, dough, sauce, cheese, pepperoni, pie? What do you call Pizza? that? Pizza. I think we've done Pizza? this bit. Pizza we've pie? definitely done this. Yeah. I think we've done this. I've done this to I've done this to Kyle. Is why yeah. I'm doing it again. <laughs> uh, Forza, the racing game. Yeah. Yeah. Heck of a game. Uh, that new Eliminator mode is super fun, though. It's a battle royale. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. You all just start as a little Mini Cooper, and just to get those random drops around on the world. Um, sometimes it's a bit broken. Sometimes it's not. Yeah. It. Uh, uh, so, so like a lot of battle royales, puts a map, puts a, puts a circle down on the map, uh, uh, the like whole horizon map, which is pretty big. Yeah. Uh, you start in a Mini Cooper. If you race up beside somebody else, you can honk at them and challenge them, and it'll put a kind of a random finish line towards the center of the circle, usually. And then first person there wins. And um, as, as you're knocking people out, you are gaining faster cars and, and power-ups and things. Until yeah. there's yeah. only one. Actually, until, until there's like ten, and then there's a final race. I haven't oh. even gotten that far yet. The final race seems like I only got to one final race, and it seemed like bullshit because it just it like happened to spawn on one side of the circle where where somebody was super close, and oh. uh, I, <laughs> they, there must be like a mechanic oh, to it, it that just, I don't. Know. I I pictured it like putting you guys all on a start line. No, the something. final the final one just goes down somewhere, and and the yeah. one that happened like I happened to be on the opposite side of the circle, and a bunch of people were close. I'm like ah, I, <laughs> damn it. I guess I. Guess and then I, it's his first one there. Yep. So you don't yeah. even have to die. Eh, I don't know. If I, like. I mean, I wasn't probably how you have to do it with a car game, but yeah, I wasn't the biggest fan of the finish, to be honest. But uh, it's it's neat. It's cool. Yeah, it's fun. It's it's some of the mechanics are unique, and like I remember, there's a couple instances like if you can catch the player going the right direction, or you get the right uh, checkpoint. If you, if you're in a low enough car, you can catch them quick enough going the opposite way because the checkpoint marks you off in the, the direction you're already going. They have to loop all the way back around. It becomes a nightmare for them, but it's uh, it's interesting the way they mix it up. And some of those cars you get are just really interesting too. 
Yeah, and it, it's a, like, there's a, a bit of strategy to it where you have to decide, like, am I staying on road because I'm going to go faster and, and yeah. less risk of crashing? Uh, are you like me and you're just always going in a straight fucking line <laughs> through the forest at yeah. all times? <laughs> uh, it's It's got a bit of depth to it. I think it's pretty cool, actually. Yeah, so and then is it like a like a regular battle royale where if you beat the car and they're eliminated then you get all their shit? You get a car upgrade. So once you beat them you get a, a next level into the car okay. you're already. So you're driving. getting an upgrade on you, but it's not yeah. like you, you uh, can take their car. Yeah. Oh, if you can they just have a better take car. Their car. Yeah. 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 Gotcha. Yeah, if you somehow beat, and it like shows you all in levels too. So like you started in a level one car, and it's a giant number. So you're like, ah, that guy's a four. I don't know if I can, I can hang in my two. And I'm they're better. all races though. That's right. Everything yeah. is uh, ra- elimination just, by race. Just gotcha. like we're hearing live right now. Okay. <laughs> Out on the Perfect. main streets of Nowhoods. That's right. Is, no there only, uh, <laughs> is there only the one map that you play on, or are there different ones? Uh, there's just the one map, but it is like the map. It is it is huge. It is like yeah. it takes it's the you map like, from single player. Yeah, it takes yeah. you like four or five minutes to drive full tilt from one side to the other. Yeah. yeah, it looked interesting when I was watching you play, but honestly, the just drive straight over top of all the terrain and and not really care about the fact that you're doing a <laughs> racing game part of it is kind of. You gotta, Not how I would have pictured that game. You gotta make a decision, you know? I, yeah. I really like that it encourages you to, like... No other mode in Forza s- says drive outside the lines. But this one does. I think that's rad. I wish they'd have, like... That they weren't, like, just necessarily all, like... As the crow flies races. And, yeah. were, like, maybe way, like gate points or, or things like that. I know that Yeah, becomes... to encourage some sort of steering. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you gotta navigate the forests, you know. Yeah, you gotta like. There's, there's some some high tense moments, like ooh, look at all these rock fences I'm about to bust through. Just you gotta uh, weave through the trees. Exactly. That's the, all the steering you need. They could also. You just gotta get the like the like cow wedge on the trains, whatever it's called. <laughs> yeah, catcher. Yeah. The cow catcher upgrade, and then you're like, I got it. It's a gold, <laughs> and you just go through all the trees, A to B on oh, every race. Oh, that would be the. Be- I would take that every time. Yeah. Uh, they could maybe, like, kind of take some cues from Burnout and, and, like, ah, instead of a race, this one is, like, who can do the farthest jump off this ramp? Yeah. Or, like, we'll put or a marker on the ramp drift. and, yeah, who can who can do blank? Yeah. It's very neat. Yeah, some of the cars are really interesting, too. Getting the Warthog the first time feels good. Yeah, it feels like Just being able to blast over those bumps full speed. It doesn't feel like a real car. Once you drive the Warthog in Forza, you're just, ah, oh, yes, this did not. The, no car in the world handles, like, this fucking thing. It feels like yeah. it weighs, it, like... 99.999% of the weight is in the front somehow, where that thing is just like, woo, like in Halo, I'm just fishtailing all over the place, like never yeah. in control, but it's the Warthog, so. Like if you had yeah. one wheel on the edge of a cliff and the rest of you was hanging over, you'd be totally fine. Yeah, as long as, not, not even, cliff. you just need like the yeah. front bumper and you'd be okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's very cool though. I, I see that, the the Hot Wheels stuff in there every time and I'm like, oh, I don't play Forza very often, but man, do I want to buy some of that Hot Wheels shit. <laughs> yeah, I don't like how they just jam those ads in your face, though. Unskippable! Oh my yeah. god! Yeah. I was so mad! Yeah. We have to, you have to watch like an unskippable two-minute thing of like, here's our DLC, you should buy it. Please buy it. Happens a couple times, actually. Happened to me the first time, the same one you had, and then it happened to me again with the Lego. Yeah, there's a lot of, like, unskippable cutscenes for some... Well, maybe not for some reason, but you can't skip any of the stuff where... Allure. Where you're unlocking, Allure. like, yeah, new places, and, <laughs> and Kira's like, Hey, Mats, I've got to, to tell you the same shit every time! Win races! <laughs> I'm like, I know, Kira, fuck yeah. me, let me skip this! No, yeah. can't be done. Uh, they just announced a new, speaking of Hot Wheels, a new Hot Wheels racing game I thought I saw today. And I think they're... No. It's like Trackmania esque from what I saw. Hot Wheels. They're either do, they're doing either doing Hot Wheels for Rocket League or NASCAR, and I can't remember which. Hot Wheels cool. Unleashed is oh yeah September thirtieth, twenty twenty one. I bet you I, I bet you it's NASCAR then, and I'm getting mixed up. They're putting Hot Wheels in Rocket League. NASCAR. They're putting no uh, NASCAR in Rocket League. Hot Wheels hmm. its own thing. <laughs> uh, this this Hot Wheels Unleashed. Just looking at the screenshots, looks a lot like. Kind of a, a track mania, but what if the cars were Hot Wheels cars? Mm-hmm. Oh, track totally. Tra- Hot Wheels track. It's got like it's got like bridges that are moving though. Like it's got like the Hot Wheels, you know, toys. I had. Uh, that sounds alright. What I'm did I have? As, as a kid, I had that like the the figure eight, where it like had the jump where like cars were going mm-hmm. over and under each other, yeah. and every now and again they one. would collide. I had yeah, the, the the loop. 
Yeah, the dinosaur. The cars go into the dinosaur and just get eaten. Oh yeah. There's commercials oh, for, for those. Are so fucked. <laughs> we I had like Hot Wheels cars, but the tracks we had were like generic Walmart tracks with no brand on Hot them tires, whatsoever. Warm tires. Like the carpet that has the city streets on it. It's like the mega blocks of Hot Wheels. I remember we 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 must have had some like bush league tracks like you where there was. For some reason, I remember like having to file down the joint where the different tracks would like meet because otherwise the <laughs> lip of the car would like watching and you have to like take a pair of scissors and scrape it down or something. Mm-hmm. Spent a lot of time. I feel like I just unlocked a memory, like a bunch of memories. <laughs> you played the uh, racing line on Kyle? Uh just the braking line. <laughs> Poof. The guy pretty much Poof. fucking Leo drinking meme to me. <laughs> racing line. <laughs> Please. Uh, what else you been up? Do you got any more thoughts on Forza? I don't mean to uh, rush you here. No, no, no. I dig it. Hell of a game. I am late to the Forza Four party, so it looks so good. It looks. Yeah. It is. It is maybe one of the best looking games on the uh, Series X right now. I hate the season change. Holy, like I swear, every like five minutes, the damn loading screen pops up for a season change when you're just in the world mode. I uh, hate that. Is it your first time unlocking the seasons? Uh, I yeah, have unlocked a couple of them. I hope it goes away. Yeah, I think usually I feel like it the does. first one, you get a big, like, <laughs> autumn, and then, like, scenes of the landscape changing to autumn or whatever. Yeah, I th- I've had three of those, I think. Well, Because aren't they tied? Like, I feel like they're tied to the story progress at the beginning. Yeah, well, story progress. Story. You complete like, X races, and, and eventually yeah. it becomes winter. I just unlocked yeah. winter last time I loaded up there. Yeah, you have to do, like, the first few races to get into the Eliminator mode before it'll even let you try it out. Yeah. What else? What else you been up to? Um, I unlocked the new character in Valorant, uh, Astra. Is this the healer? No, this is the Battlefield controller. Um, we talked a bit about her. She's got a... Her ultimate is really cool. It's a, a massive wall that splits the entire map. Oh, yeah. yeah. We, Enemies we can't shoot about. through it, can't hear through it. Um, really interesting ultimate, and she's she has a unique ability. When you use her regular ability, she just you just sit there, which is kind of shitty. So you have to hang back and let your teammates do the work at the start. And now you can what place is her uh, regular ability. She uh, enters like a, a meditative state where you get like a battlefield overview of the whole map. You can see the whole map from the top down, and you place uh, star fragments on the map, and you can either use the map overview to activate those star fragments or you can run up through the world and just point at them to activate them. But they either act as like a smoke, a concussion, or a like a like a stick in place, a gravity well they called they oh, call weird. it. So they're like yeah. they're like mines almost. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, she's really interesting. I'm having a lot of fun with her. Yeah. 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 She brings a whole whole other thing to the table. Are they? Do you know if they're planning on having like? Is this gonna be like a league? We're gonna have eighty heroes by the end of the development cycle. Who knows? I have no clue. Like even from the last time I played it to now, they've added. Uh, they added Astra, Yoru, and another character that I've never seen before. So oh, three wow. characters in the last few months Pumping or last was, year or so. There was a few added like right off the hop. I there's one added when I was still playing. Yep. Yep. Well. So it seems like as as long as they balance them out and they're constantly tweaking them, like I just saw the other day, they did a couple updates to uh, some of the other characters. How's the old KDR these days? It's up and down. Yeah. <laughs> you know, some some days good, some days bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Depends on uh, the old horn bong door. You getting shit on from your teammates? Tell me how much abuse have you taken? Tell me all no, about it. No, on, honestly, it's uh, it's not nearly as toxic as it once was. I um, don't know if I. No, you probably that. just got better. Yeah, uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it's maybe. probably never been worse, and you're quietly one of the worst of them now. <laughs> when I when I unlocked Astra, I the first round I played, I was like, "Hey guys, first time playing Astra. Sorry if it's bad." They're like, "Ah, no worries. It's all good." So rare. You, yeah. I think I was with you when those like prepubescent British kids were like, "Is this your <laughs> first game? I don't know where hookah is." <laughs> yeah. like, what the fuck is hookah? My map says all these names. None of them are fucking hookah. Yeah, 
Yeah. Also, yes, it is my first. I remember saying, I mean, like, <laughs> yes, it is my <laughs> first game. And you're like, oh. Yeah. Well, you should learn your call outs. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, Lost it's, the accent. It's honestly not nearly you as bad as it once was. I don't, I don't, I don't know. If I'm, maybe your, th your skin is just thicker. Maybe, maybe. You've gotten used to it. Yeah. Come <laughs> or through. you've become part of the problem. <laughs> and now you come don't to notice it and enjoy it. You exactly. Really yeah. embraced just... your Kylehood. <laughs> do it. And that's all of really. Speaking of do it, I watched uh, Star Wars Episode Nine two days ago. Fuck! Is that your second time? Uh, yeah, yeah, second time making it all the way through. Yeah. <laughs> it, What'd you uh, think? Mandalorian retroactively made it a little bit better. I don't know. I don't know. There was yeah. a thing that I really hate that they sort of address in in Mando that I'm like, okay, it's still bad. The only positive thing about it, the 5.1, the the surround sound is very good. Yeah. Very fucking good. In a, I mean, in, a, in a world where Marvel movies, to a T, are so fucking bad, and you can't hear dialogue, and ugh, they, there are so many bad mixes, the Star Wars one, very good. Star Wars always has had good mixes, though. I've never really paid attention, until like recently, until I started noticing on every single Marvel film, like, I can't hear what they're saying, and the music is breaking my windows. <laughs> uh, it's a bad film. It's a bad film. There, it has so few. There's so many spots where you can see that J.J. Abrams just like dug his heels into the sand and was like, "Fuck you, Ryan Johnson!" <laughs> Woo! Like ripped ripped his pants off and just started crotch chopping the audience to get one over on Ryan. Fucking and goddess. It was, it was like he just like he, he had to course correct so much stuff, and I say course correct in that like. In his mind, yeah. I liked a lot of the stuff from eight. The fuck yous uh, I'm referring to. <laughs> yeah, but just like the amount of time that that movie spends that it could have spent doing other stuff, where they're where instead they had to be like, okay, let's bring it all the way back. So much they basically shit. had to do his eight and his nine in yeah. one movie. Literally everything too, like everything that Kylo Ren goes through in eight, they just undo. Where he's like, oh, I put the mask back on. And they have a, a smarmy line where he's like using the force to tell that what's his fuck is thinking about the mask, and it's. it's the only good thing about that movie is uh, I liked Bobby who Frick. The, I liked who the spy was. Babu Frick is pretty good. Yeah, Babu Frick, Babu Frick felt like a gimmick. Honestly, like oh, we need one of these right. in this film. He's very he's very much this Star Wars movies thing that they could maybe sell something of. Yeah, he, he's okay, but but uh, those guys are always great. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> when he shows up at the end, uh, Lando. Why is Lando even in that movie? Oh, I'm just getting angry. I'm just getting mm -hmm. mad again. The oh. whole Chewie thing. So is fucking Everything in that film, they just go back. Chewie dies, and then that spoilers. Chewie dies, and then yeah. undies. Everything. Yeah. They kill Ben, and then unkill Ben. What's the other one? C-3PO gets wiped, and then un gets wiped. Like, they, there's no stakes. They just roll it mm. back five seconds later. <laughs> but it's part of the canon. They set up some... So the reason I was watching it is they set up some weird stuff with, like, the way the rule of two and the force works. And... They they so previously the rule of two was this like there's only ever two Sith right the the apprentice kills yeah. the master when he becomes more, or they become more powerful and it's just this like cycle of you need to become more powerful to beat your master so it's always increasing power or the master kills you exactly and, and finds an apprentice that can beat yeah. him yeah. but it, it, the way they lay it out in the movie is that the the force is like how do they describe it I, I read there's a quote from a book the force is like is like venom and the more cups it's in the weaker it is. So the more the more dark side users there are, the weaker the force is. That's why there's only two of them. Like that is straight up the thing. It's so stupid. And then that's why there's only one Jedi at the end. So all the Jedi beat the, all the. It's so fucking stupid. <laughs> also, what is a diet in the force? I know what a diet in the force is after looking it up. And you're like, oh, actually, this is a poll from. This is quite interesting. But they just fucking shit all over it. He's like, oh, a diet in the force. Never hear about it again. So stupid. <laughs> he says, you let him do have it. it. He says, yeah, do he it. He says, do it, which she is pretty will good. will raise her saber. It's a dumb movie. It's really <laughs> At least the guy, I don't, I don't know the actor's name, but the guy who plays Palpatine is having a good time in that film. Mm. Happy for one more, uh, well, plus the next trilogy. I'm sure he'll be there too. But Yeah, nobody's ever really gone. Oh, and then Luke shows, oh, oh. <laughs> Uh, I play Pac-Man 99. Uh, you guys play Pac-Man 99 more. this week? Uh, it's, it a, cool. it's It's 99 packs on, on and one. And a bitch ain't one. <laughs> oh. um, I, uh, I don't know if a game has ever been more immediately. I know everything I need to know about this game yeah. by the title, <laughs> but go on anyway. <laughs> yeah. uh, everybody, 99 people all playing Pac-Man on a board. 
there are, I think they call them tra ghost trains or something. They're like uh, little little ghost like power-ups you're eating on the sides. And they make, so it's DX. It's Championship DX Edition. So when you, if mm -hmm. you corner tight, you get a speed boost, just like in DX. The so sparks kick up, you go faster. Yeah. Uh, if you eat the chain, your power pellet time increases. So you're spawning ghosts behind these ghosts to make chains of ghosts, eat a power pellet, eat the ghost. And uh, just like in Tetris 99, when you're eating ghosts in Tetris, you're clearing lines, you're sending trash to the other people. The trash in this case are jammer Pac-Men, which uh, start as just a little, like a, a, a like clear pack on the screen, and they slow you down when you run over them. But eventually, eventually they move, which is upsetting, and eventually they turn red, where you die if you touch them, and eventually they turn red and move. Uh, and I haven't quite got past that yet. But uh, it's is that happening like as increased junk, or is that happening as seems like as you go time when in you game. don't address it? Uh, it, se it seems like when you get down to a certain number of people, maybe? I'm not really... So, right. there's no way to look up how this game is played or what any of it means, apparently. They put out mm -hmm. a trailer, and every single thing on the internet just quotes the trailer of, choose one of four power-ups. So you have four power-ups. I don't know what they do. Strength, <laughs> speed, train, and uh, standard. Is I that train like weight train or train like runaway train? Train, like I think if you eat a ghost train, it may be... A percent of the time makes some of them go back to the front of the train, so you eat some of them twice, I think. Gotcha. Strength, again, that is, uh, I don't know, I think makes you more resistant to the jammer packs, so you don't get slowed as much. Maybe speed, I assume, makes you faster. But I also don't know what what dictates the magnitude of it. Like, am I, do I always have a, a set amount of strength? Do I always have, uh, like, a set amount of speed? Is it going up as I'm getting kills? I have no idea. I have no idea. And there's nowhere to look it up. Uh, and then you are uh, eating a certain number of power, a certain number of, of just regular pellets, not power pellets, to make a fruit appear. And when you eat a fruit, the board will whoosh repopulate. Uh, and if you clear the board, you get a speed boost, which I learned very key. You need the speed boost. You got to clear the board. That's permanent. Uh, yeah, you pack them. So you're will, trying will, to clear. You lots of lots of board clears, lots of speed. That's right. But some yeah. sometimes you know eventually you got to start picking where it's like I, I don't know if I can get up to that corner to clear the board because I've got ten thousand ghosts on my screen now. Maybe I'll just get mm -hmm. this fruit and respawn them and, and bail on the speed. But at least right. I got more power pellets and uh, it's 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 very good. I like it a little more I think than Tetris ninety nine just because I am better I guess at Pac Man than Tetris. I feel like I'm better even though I think that's <laughs> I not am true. Not. No. But uh, yeah, it's... I almost got my first Invictus win in Tetris. The <laughs> Second night I lived here. Is that a that's the the win? That's the mode when you win, you get access to that and only play winners. Oh shit! Uh, and I always get just absolutely smoked at it. Like I always end up in like the forties, and that's like with each game usually starting between sixty and seventy people as opposed to ninety nine because it's harder to fill the lobbies. Yeah. Um. So I. Uh, got it was one of those where i didn't even know it was close to the end and then instantly realized it was close and oh. instantly died in <laughs> like, as, as i realized it. Up. I'm like oh shit it's me and like two other guys dead. i could totally do this and then was dead uh but apparently beat the third guy because i hit him in second but one the day. dream still one day seeds my gap grasp it is, it is very much that same model as Tetris 99. Free if you have Nintendo Switch Online. They sell themes and uh, like character models and icons and things. Uh, it's cool. It's, if you like Pac-Man Championship DX Edition, which is a really good version of Pac-Man, mm -hmm. it's dope. And don't forget to get your speed boosts, which I think you do, if I remember by... Uh, right before you corner, you have to hold into the corner. You have to like do the quarter circle, I think. So you have to start the direction you're going and then go into it, which is why I, I kept fucking it up when we were streaming it. I think it's been a long right. time since the X edition, but it's like drifting. Interesting. It is a lot like drifting. Pac-Man getting sick drifts. I didn't know they had even had something like that in Pac-Man nowadays. Uh, I, as far as I know, only in Championship DX edition is a really strange, weird mm. like Pac-Man on. But on also crack. my favorite Pac-Man. Yeah, it's the best. Like, it's, it's very good. <laughs> I've gone back and played basic Pac-Man, and I'm like, I don't know that this is a fun game. Yeah, not compared yeah. to DX edition. For sure. Uh, what else? I, I guess I'll keep going here on uh, my games. Got a little bit into uh, NBA 2K21 this week. The basketball game. I'm a basketballist now. Mm. Did the face scan? Uh, yep. And it did not like the beard. So my guy looks. He looks like a burn victim. Where like he has no <laughs> nose. His nose is like. It looks like a, somebody's nose got burnt off. Like, he sure. looks like. It looks like red skull kind of like. Uh, really <laughs> fucked up. 
but I've uh, been playing much with Warren. We, we're doing the he only plays the like my career mode where you build a player and you got to work through the NBA and get your stats up and stuff. So we are just getting s actually we're holding our own online surprisingly, even though uh, most people are like maxed out stats and I like 99, 95, 93. I'm 60. Six mm. zero. I thought you started at like sixty five. Apparently, I started at sixty. <laughs> I'm up to like sixty seven now. Uh, mm. They have slam ball. Did you know NBA Two K Twenty One has slam ball? Like actually, uh, like branded slam ball, or just the concept? Uh, just the concept. I I don't know if yeah. it's branded, but it it is th it is three on three or two on two. Uh, the the trampoline arrangement the same as it was. Mm -hmm. I don't remember the rules of slam ball, but uh, in this you you're not traveling if you're on a trampoline. It's just super fucking stupid. So you're just like trampoline to trampoline to trampoline if you want, uh, and and everybody just jumps super high. Like the slam ball stuff is really good. So in slam ball, if you got a foul, uh, you would the guy with the ball would run from like half court forward at the net like you would expect someone to, mm. and the guy defending would start in the corner by the net and run that way, and then they'd both just hit a trampoline and go up and <laughs> smoke each other in the air. I don't think there are fouls in this one. I'm not, I'm not, I, we were trying to get a foul, and we couldn't, so I, I don't know if there are fouls in cages or whatever the, the mode is called in 2K. Sure. There's a thing in, in NBA 2K that I haven't seen since, uh, and I'm not really in this scene, but not since um, uh, Dragon Ball Fighters Z. Not mm -hmm. since any number of anime fighter games where instead of a lobby, you know, instead of a, a like, sense-making, I would like to play multiplayer, I'm going to go into this menu, I'm going to press find me a match, please, it'll match make me, away we go. You go into this, like, shared fucking space, and in NBA 2K, it's the blacktop, and uh, if you want to play, say, the, the slam ball mode, you want to play three on three, you have to fucking wait outside the three on three court and watch these motherfuckers play their game until they're finished, and you have to line up, and you have to go into the court... <laughs> And if there's a squad, they get priority, so if, if a squad comes in front of you, fuck you, and you, you might be waiting for 30 minutes, and, like, the idea that you have to wait and watch these motherfuckers play their basketball game in this virtual space is <laughs> is just <laughs> insane. Like, ah, there's so many times where Warren and I are playing, and he'd be like, hey, you want to do one more? And I'd be like, yeah, one, one more sounds good. And I'm like, oh, wait, we have to queue up. This is going to be, like, a 15-minute fucking thing. Oof. Forget it. Like, Can't they just add more courts? It's a video. Only, you there's would only think. one court. Yeah. You, you would can't fucking have more than think. One slam ball court. There's like two. There's two three on three courts, two two on two courts, two whatever. But that's for everything. Unless you're queuing into a like full. I haven't done one because Warren says they're like almost an hour long. A full like NBA game. You have to go to this blacktop in the neighborhood and fucking queue up and watch people play on the courts until they're clear and like. <laughs> That's wild. so fucked. It's I did not so know it was like that, fuck, dude. And, like I gotta go to the gym and play this. I haven't done this yet. Other plays mini game and get my stat boost and like the pay to win stuff is brutal. If I wanted to, I could spend money and my player would win a lot more, a lot more. I could just That's, level him yeah. up, boom. And dog, that's dude. a 2K. That's always been 2K. It's like <laughs> across it's sports. Fucking crazy. I could not believe here in the year of our Lord 2021 that we were watching people. We were like, I'm like yeah, this role playing street basketball is cool, I guess, but like. Like, it's a good. <laughs> like, I love the idea of being able to walk the courts and be like, hey, there's a real game going on. Look at that's my buddy actually doing stuff yeah. on the court. That's cool. If I want but to, let me but stay. It's, yeah, it's a video game. It's not real purchased fucking real estate. If. You don't have enough courts for all the people. Like, if you don't have enough lobbies for all the players in a first-person shooter, you get more. Spin up another one. Yeah. No, 2K. <laughs> you wait for them to clear. Yeah. They're like, we're not adding more courts. We're not adding more digital play space for we, you guys getting can't blind. <laughs> this is, like, the greatest thing that I've ever heard about in a video game. I'm not going to yeah, lie. It's yeah. crazy. The, it's the, stunning. The basketball itself is actually pretty interesting. It's, uh, mm. like, it, it takes a... There's a race car. It, it seems like it um, sort of is like almost uh, it's almost a real time strategy game in a way like you, you are sort of uh, inputting general commands and the game seems like it's doing a lot of the work for you where like, you know, if I'm trying to make a layup and someone's defending, I'm going to I'm going to press the layup button. They're going to press the defend button. And then our players are going to it's going to kind of play based on our stats. You know, I'm not I'm not pressing the like right stick to get my hand in his face, whatever. Like it's mm -hmm. it just happens how it happens. It seems to be a little bit random, but it always looks really good because they're kind of simulating like canned animations. Yeah, like yeah. it always looks like real basketball, which is kind of cool. Uh, but the downside of it is your character feels like a Red Dead character, where like 
you stop and pivot and they have momentum where they got like whoa come to a screeching halt and go running back or like if you want to dunk you got to start pressing the dunk button at about the half court because it takes like a few seconds it seems to get inputted in in a way yeah, huh. Then you jump and do the stretchy arm slam dunk. Yeah, we had one of those. We had one. It was no stretchy arm. We had the fucking Michael Jordan like both legs out <laughs> <laughs> in yeah. our uh, pro am game. It's fun. The basketball looks good. The basketball looks very good and and is like fun to play. Me uh, who doesn't play basketball games at all, I'm totally holding my own, and that's that's neat. Do you ever play any of the other sports games? Uh, you know, I've I've dabbled here and there. I've I've played the Maddens and the Chells and. Yeah. No FIFA, actually. is probably the only one I haven't played. Uh, Chels and FIFAs are always good. Yeah. the It gives me a little bit of hope, maybe. Not, that's not the right word. It. Uh, I'm not as pessimistic on as I was on 2K22, I guess. playing At least playing a... Because the, the basketball studio is doing the wrestling game now. At least playing something they've made. And they're like, you know what? This is... I, I, the purchasing stuff is shitty, but whatever. The, the game itself seems it's well made it's interesting it's fun to play unlike wwe 2k21 so <laughs> but it is a lot of, at least from the uh, not from the rts uh point of view but from the like momentum and pre-canned animation point of view it that is some of the stuff that very much gets in the way in wrestling yeah well, where it's like this feels awful because i'm grabbing you from here and throwing punches at you and you're not even moving because you're i think in an animation with this other guy that actually requires you to like take two steps back and crotch chop and then kick them and i'm trying to punch you during that crotch chop but you're kind of doing a thing like yeah they so if it's like 2k21 sort of feels they would you would you would sort of they would take control away from you much earlier where like Instead of, you know, me Irish whipping you into a corner and then I gotta go and set you up on the ropes or whatever, it would be like a combo you input or something, and then our characters kinda play with the animation and you mm. know however if your guy has a high enough stat to fight out, maybe he can kinda fight out or something. Uh, I I they gotta figure something out. The the like one to one button to hand control thing for wrestling is so bad. <laughs> Doesn't make any yep. fucking sense. What else have I been playing? Let's see here. I uh, played a little bit of Star Wars Squadrons this week. The matchmaking. I don't know. If, I, th I, I think nobody might be playing that game. The matchmaking sucks so bad. I'm at uh, like eight or nine hours with a 30% win rate, which is just brutal. Just awful. For every ten games I play, I lose <laughs> over seven of them. <laughs> uh, and and just continued. Like Andy, Andy Warren and I played yesterday, and uh, the highest level guy on our team was like 40, and then me at 20-something. The like lowest level person on their team was in the three hundreds, and of course we just got <laughs> fucking stomped. Yep. Oh, that only needs to happen like three or four times. I'm like, I'm it fucking fuck this. It feels like nobody's playing that game. You wait. And like, I feel it. This is going back a long time for me, but I liked how that game looked, and yeah. I liked the concept of like, yeah, I want to sit in a in a playing cockpit, but and maybe skill had something to do with this. But I never was having fun playing the game. Yeah, I, I've sort of found the flow a little bit better. I've sort of it's it's very it's very MOBA esque. It's like very you got to take down this tower basically, and once the tower's down, you momentum try to you know so your damage ship tries to kill one of their team, and then the five of you gang up on the four of them, just like in a MOBA, and then you just fucking roll them. And it's it's very like it's a it's this very team oriented game. It turns out when when you're playing it really well, where everybody is focusing on targets and they're going down fast and you're healing each other, and uh, without that communication even with that communication i it's it's not my favorite mm. and uh yeah it, I, I wonder if nobody's playing it because you wait so long you wait four or five minutes sometimes for a match and then get a what well, feels like a, a pretty poor quality match just uh, it, skill wise it looked like you were getting match uh like match made with a lot of the same people when you were streaming it the other day there too yeah and and i would even like stop i'd be i would, I would like stop the queue and be like okay hopefully we don't get these same people yeah. again and then you do and so i don't i don't know if something's going on there it sounds nice it looks nice mm -hmm. yeah it looks star wars really stuff good. always yeah. does i like star wars they got mm -hmm. the, i actually have that installed so i can try that out after stream i got the b-wing which is is kind of neat do you know the b-wing only drops bombs from the direction the spire is pointing i didn't know that why wing? Because the the bombs come out of the spire. Yeah, that's wild. Why wing always drops bombs directly down, but the B wing you can like you can spin it above, and the B wing can actually shoot bombs up, which seems. There's no gravity. Never thought about that. It's just a propulsion system. Yeah. Hmm. Cool. Hmm, there cool. is no gravity. 
Uh, I think that's me in a nutshell. Let me check my, my notes notes, my personal notes here. Let's see. This is where I jot down. 2K21 fucking sucks. Yep, got it. Horizon, <laughs> inescapable ads. What the fuck? I did that. Oh, Outriders. I played a bunch of Outriders today. Uh, nothing new to report. That game is fine. That game is, is not exceptional. It's not terrible. It's uh, still pretty janky. There's a thing where... Uh, the, I, th I think the matchmaking doesn't work yet, which sucks, because playing that game by yourself I, it's my least favorite way to play it. And never had anybody join our game uh, for a single time. I played for probably, I don't know, 10 hours maybe, including the uh, the beta, and uh, have not ever once, not once, had anybody join into my game. Tried the random matchmaking today and uh, got into somebody's game for like a hot second, and then the game just crashed a dashboard. I'm like, <laughs> all right, cool. So it's... <laughs> It was a little janky, wow. you know. I had skills that weren't working. To, they just stopped working. One of my skills just stopped working halfway through. It would go on cooldown, but wouldn't do the effect. And Are you on PC? Uh, Xbox. Xbox. I heard that the uh, it could not match make all with PC players. Yeah, there's but a... But it should be able to match make with PlayStation and Xbox players, but it, that is not the case. You get a, like... Uh, I, I don't know who it was matching with. Uh, it, when, when you start the game, it's like, hey, we have uh, PC matchmaking disabled right now because it's fucked. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you are matching with people Pres that it is supposed to, supposedly supposed to be working with. Presumably, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it, uh, it, it's fine. I don't know. I, it is just walk into an arena, shoot some dudes, rinse and repeat. Like, it, it, is, mm -hmm. it is just arena after arena after arena. You know, sometimes, the, sometimes there's snipers up here and you got to kind of... In almost a, a sort of Halo-esque fashion, figure out the puzzle of like, all right, take these guys down, come down here, save my whatever for this, yada, yada, yada. Um, but it's it's uh, it's a fine way to kill a few hours. I don't know. I still think I would be mad if I paid full price for that yeah. game. But yeah, Luckily, you don't have to. Luckily, I don't yeah. have to. If you have an Xbox. If. Or a PC. Or a PC. You have an Xbox or a PC. A Windows platform. That's me in a nutshell. Just making my way through Clone Wars still. Been watching. You guys been watching Invincible? How is I was shocked that Invincible was not Kyle's OP pick of the week. week pick week, of the week. week. <laughs> I haven't even checked it out yet. Oh, I the have. boys are raving about it in the podcast or in the Discord. Yeah, I uh, watched the first. So I got into it when there was four episodes out, and then I literally uh, watched three and a half, then ran out of time before work, hmm. uh, and then came back, watched the other half, and I was like, well, I'm done that. That's a really good show. And then the other, like, I refreshed my Amazon page, and the next episode popped up. And I was like, oh, well, here we go. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah it seems like a really uh, super rad show. It's very good. J.K. Simmons. Do you want more, uh, cool. more superheroes in your life? Yeah. More, more superheroes written by the guy who did The Walking Dead, written, written by Robert Kirkman. What do you think the J.K. and J.K. Simmons stands for? Jedi Knight? Jedi Knight Simmons? Don't even answer. That's the that's the correct answer. <laughs> I had to rewatch Whiplash the other day because uh, I was a bit sidetracked when we had it on the Discord the other day. But fuck, is that movie ever good? It's a fucking great movie. I wow. never. How long is it? I never. I, I haven't seen it. And I missed it in the it's normal uh, length. In the two movie. Hours. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, it's like two hours or so. Hour forty five. Maybe a little hours, less. Yeah. I'll squeeze that in. Is it's that, it's a really is, good watch. Is it of Jedi Knight Simmons? It does, right? It, it does. does. He's the love him. He is the guy oh, yeah. to watch in that movie. Terrence Fletcher. Yeah. Oh, can't get enough of Jeffrey King Simmons. Yeah. What have you been up to, Kevin? Looks like you got caught doing something. <laughs> I was looking at uh, Brando because it looked like he was ready to to say something. And then you just did the whole swerve, and now everyone's mm -hmm. all confused. Mm -hmm. Now, keep us now I'm looking toes. at Kevin yeah. on my screen. But oh, I'm over there on your screen? That's messed up. Yeah. What do you... Oh, yeah. He's... What, uh, <laughs> what, what... This will play great for the mostly audio audience <laughs> that listens to this podcast. Exactly. Exactly. Everybody's just looking around their all these great video, video. <laughs> what's, what's that show where they're... Is that the Brady Bunch where they're all like coming in on squares <laughs> and like yeah. looking around at each other? And... Haunting, waving. <laughs> yeah. We're doing a Brady Bunch bit over here, apparently. <laughs> uh, I haven't really been playing all too much. Just kind of the, kind of the usual suspects. Battlegrounds. DDO raids. DDO... Some magic. We're going to try and get Phasmophobia going this weekend sometime. Yes. Yes, if, we are. Uh, we, tried, yeah, we tried previously and couldn't 
get the voice chat working for some reason, which was weird. Even yeah, though we I'm had it try. working before that. Yeah, that's very strange. I'm going to try just uninstalling and reinstalling and seeing if... Who knows if that fixes all the problems, which I assume it will. Maybe the real ghosts <laughs> in your house have a problem with, with you fake With fake ghosts? ghosts? <laughs> yeah, probably. They're uh, like, you're fucking running away from these ghosts, but you just disrespect us here the whole time. I don't know what has Jealous. been in the, in the updates, uh, other than ghosts can open doors now, which sounds I'm super okay fucking that. scary. <laughs> I am absolutely not okay with that. It was like your one refuge is like, well, at least I can't open these doors. <laughs> I'm safe in this closet. And they couldn't go through the doors either? Uh, like... some, sometimes they could, but rarely. Now, yeah. I guess a thing might happen where a ghost will try to open the door, and you have to hold the door shut and not let them open it on the other side, or you will die. Fuck. If I was a ghost, I'd just go through that wall. That's yeah, cool. yeah. Uh, you know, different ghosts. Maybe they can. Maybe a, an Oni can't go through walls the way a, a Wraith can. You know? That's right. Ghost is a ghost is a ghost to me. Oh, that's. I didn't even know they had. <laughs> Witcher names. Geralt would have something to say about that. <laughs> I saw they finished the recording season two as well. Filming, I guess they call that in TV. <laughs> no, I'm excited for that show. I yeah. might watch the first season again because I don't remember a whole bunch about it. But it's got some issues it's got like some weird plot holes that i don't understand how they happen well i have to i'd like to go back in kind of with the knowledge of how they kind of deal with time yeah it's that forest thing that forest thing makes it they go to the forest that no one can leave and then they just leave <laughs> remember they're like you'll, you'll forget who you are and then they just never yeah. address it and they're like oh, i guess siri is magic so it didn't work yeah maybe yeah, that's my head canon. Sense. who knows <laughs> yeah, the lady of time the whatever magic doesn't work on her what you've been playing brando uh, nothing, but oh, I think this is the last week uh, that I'll play nothing. This yeah. was a very busy week of me moving. I should I played Apex. I played like mindless stuff whenever I'd have a free hour here or, or there. Maxed out my season pass. How's the uh, new digs? How's the new place? Good. Yeah, I would if this wasn't a purely audio. Well, pretty much only audio uh, podcast to take you on a little tour, but uh, it's good. It's set up. The furniture is where the furniture goes, and uh, I really just have to address the patio. Uh, which, uh, by address, I mean I want to get a little privacy screen and put oh, some yeah. lawn chairs out there, and then I'm good. I think yeah, I got everything yeah. that I want. Oh, and the mm. walls are bare still. I have to put my. There's. I still have a lot of stuff hanging up at the old old place that I'm gonna go get on Sunday. Yeah, it's a new. Is it new building? No one's ever lived in that apartment before. No, 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 no. It's like this building's from the 2007, I think. Oh wow. One new of the uh, actually the only one yeah. Warren and I've gone and looked at is brand new. Never, yeah, it's never sad. before lived in. Ooh. Virgin apartment. That's, that's not. That's how you know that's it's not, not haunted. Right? Yeah. Uh, not Secord. No, we didn't. We didn't. Yeah. I don't want to doss myself, but we did not hear back from Secord yet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that uh, place was not brand new, but that was the nicest place I looked at. Yeah, this Secord. place was insanely nice. Like the we yeah. looked at a, a two bedroom, which is like five or six times as big as my suite here. <laughs> well, <laughs> fucking wild, man. There's a place uh, we haven't got to look at it yet, but there's a tri level. Three bedroom condo for the same price apparently, mm. which uh, would be weird living on three stories. Moving up, there's so many, there's so much vacancy in Edmonton because this crazy yeah. housing bubble where everybody buys houses and then doesn't live in them. <laughs> the vacancy is is actually pretty good right now. Yeah, for sure. Uh, anybody got anything else we want to talk about here? Yeah, we, that was that was pretty brief. How's everybody? We won't do any spoilers because we're we're not ready for that yet. But uh, I would maybe like to come together after Winter Soldier and, and do a thing. But how how you guys liking for the sure. Marvel show so far? It's okay. Loved it. Eh? Loved yeah. it. Loving it. It's a yeah. little more a little more meat and potatoes of a superhero thing. I haven't mm. watched the latest episode yet. That's tonight. But I'm the really latest episode these last. The latest episode might have been my favorite. Oh, I really yeah. like episode two, Perfect. but I really like the the latest one too. Yeah, so the third I've, one was really good. I finished watching all of the Captain America movies again. Oh yeah! Uh, after oh, the, yeah. the podcast last week, or what did you the think? Week before I don't remember. I think that was uh, last week. Yeah, uh, it was good. Was your, I was am your now one? a little bit more invested in the characters now that I remember who they are and <laughs> why I'm supposed to care about them? What the fuck a Winter Soldier <laughs> even is? Yeah, yeah, Winter Soldier is still kind of, eh. Come on. 
What? He's so lame. It's kind of lame. That's awesome. He's His whole lame. story is, I'm super spy soldier guy. <laughs> That's literally all he That's is. His theme song. He's got a neat arm, though. <laughs> he I'm does. super spy. Remember that first time guy. where he catches the shield that time? This is the first time anybody catches the shield, and you're just like, damn. And then it clues in, and like, arm. why don't more people yeah. catch the no, shield? Now, now in the show, everybody. They realize they can catch the shield. It's not yeah. that big of a deal. Right. Man. I like when they fucking step on the shield really hard and it flies up in the air. Yeah, I like when someone who's not Captain America does it. And he's like, oh! I heard this on another podcast. I don't even know what they were talking about, but it is very uh, a wrestler using another wrestler's finishing move on yeah. on that person. <laughs> I like the GSP cameo in the second one, too. Yeah, that was wild. I... I uh... Did you guys make that connection? Did you know that yeah. the uh, George? But I had Pierre? watched those movies recently. Oh yeah, Kevin, who watched. And I them. probably would have because I think I always like I just know GSP maybe yeah. on a way that some people don't <laughs> See um, recognize him. Right, like yeah, I saw him and immediately was like, "That's GSP." And I was like, "Oh right, GSP's from Captain America." Yeah. If yeah. I wasn't uh, told who he was before the fact, I would have been like, "Just some other, just some random dude." Like I'm the same actor. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, I wonder he's who that nobody movies. is. He's anyway. in the show. He's in that show. What was oh, your favorite yeah. uh, Captain America movie? What was the best? What was the worst? Top list, bottom list. Uh, top was Civil War. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, mostly pick. because the the first the going into Civil War, the only thing I remembered about that movie was the fact that there was the Civil War. <laughs> that they had the, the airport the fight. Title, yeah, that, yeah, <laughs> yeah. The, the airport fight. And then I remembered the beginning of the movie where Wanda blew up the hmm. the apartment building to start all the shit. Lagos. Yeah. And then literally, I did not know that there was... I, I thought that was the entire plot to the movie. I didn't know that there was... I didn't remember that there was like a, a whole subplot with like... King T'Challa, or mm-hmm. and and all that stuff. Baron that Zemo. Like, yeah, Baron Zemo. I, I yeah. totally didn't remember who he was. In. I thought he was in the Winter Soldier. When mm-hmm. everyone's like, "Oh, he's from the Captain America movies," so I'm watching Winter Soldier, and I'm like, "None of these Where guys is, is guy? Baron Zemo." Yeah. <laughs> he, I, did, I, I was had... not a fan of his in uh, in Civil War. I was like, "Who? The, this guy just shows up. Who the fuck? He just undoes the Avengers because he's like, oh, God, would no super. Fuck this guy. My family. This is lame. Um, I think he's pretty. I cool had now. two different people <laughs> uh, text me when they were watching uh, the episode of Winter Soldier, where that's probably not a spoiler. I think he's in the advertising. Uh, Baron Zemo is featured, and. Uh, both people were like, are we supposed to know this guy? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, he was in one of the movies, but... Dev- he wasn't in the second one, let me tell you. No. <laughs> Fine films. Can't wait for Loki. All the trailers are dropping and everything. Yeah, now. Loki. Loki looks cool. New Black Widow trailer yeah. dropped recently, yeah. too. Oh, looks fucking June. dope. Whoo, yeah. the, the Star Wars, the Bad Batch trailer dropped. It's July now, isn't it? Uh, Black Widow? Black Widow, yeah, yeah. early July. Uh, yeah. Is it July? Uh, I think so. Yeah, I think you're right, actually. Yeah, July... Well, I am Disney super premium. stoked for Loki. Loki looks like it's going to be a fun time. I think, and what I think, as someone who likes me as few plot holes as possible, I think Loki is going to be a lot of damage control for my <laughs> time-related <laughs> problems in Endgame. Well, yeah, they can't because they have the power to do it with Loki for sure. Yeah. Well, they very much left Endgame being like we f- we did the plan that we meant, and that means there's only one timeline, and everyone's happy. And I was like <laughs> crunching the numbers. And I'm like, no, there's like 15 different timelines here. There's a lot of stuff went wrong with your plan. Wait a minute, Captain America can't just go live in the past and not make another timeline. I don't know how you think that works. Yeah. Uh, also, so like, I'm excited for them to have a show where they're like, you guys done fucked up when you did all that. The timeline where he stayed and lived with. Peggy or whatever her name is, uh, uh, that timeline's fucked up too, just by his nature of him being there. It's, it's yeah, all gonna, exactly. Who knows? Infinity Stone's gonna. Who knows what's gonna happen? <laughs> exactly. Well, let's take a quick break here. If uh, nobody's got anything else, we'll do uh, a little little ad break. If you're a patron over on patreoncom stockmarkets podcast, this will be a short uh, little musical break. We'll see you in just a minute. Talk about some news. Uh, I'm gonna I put these in a bad order. We're gonna talk about this uh, Call this the hate speech slider. I guess that uh, oh. Intel presented at GDC. This actually happened a few weeks ago, and, and I guess it's my really favorite dance move noticed till now <laughs> <laughs> The hate speech slider um, It's a AI service 
called Bleep, which is going to allow users to set filters for how much speech he, 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 hate speech you'd like to hear. Not on or off. The fucking <laughs> sliders here to choose exactly. <laughs> I'm just gonna read the, uh, the diagram here if I can make it bigger. Uh, let's see. We have. Oh, did somebody just delete the picture I was looking at? Oh, oh. I tried to make it bigger and it disappeared. <laughs> uh, ableism and body shaming. This is so. This is all on a uh, never some more all. <laughs> like, <laughs> do you want to hear never some more all? Ableism and body shaming, aggression, LGBTQ plus hate, misogyny, name calling. N word is just on or off. You don't. You don't have a a like hard well, R how do you slider. Do, how do you throw a, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's <laughs> a slider. Yeah, you want the you want the hard R soft N bomb. Yeah. You know. Racism and xenophobia, sexually explicit language, swearing, and white nationalism? Ex fucking excuse me? Turn it up. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> what the fuck? This is like. That's wild. Instead of attempting to curb these things, what if you got to choose? Like, I, you know what? I want the white nationalism through. Like what, we what want is, all of our players to be happy, including the white nationalists. No, races. fuck off! <laughs> don't, my point is, don't make an AI system to appease the white nationalists. Is I don't there, think that that's what this is it doing. It kind of is. It kind of is. What if in your game you didn't have to ban people from using, say, white supremacy speech and and such? What if you could just turn on this fucking AI slider? What if you? It's it's a band aid. It's instead of fixing the problem. What if we just let these people do their thing and we we have a we, we can put a screen between us. We can build a wall between us and the racists. We'll let them use their bleep. Like no. What? How does it work? Is it just like a software program that overlaps whatever you're on and like redacts deep, those words? Deep out? learning algorithm, yeah, it would have to, it would have to be between you and your whatever audio you're receiving. You go on Reddit and it looks like a control document. Yeah. Well it's it's so it's for audio. It's for oh, okay. It's for voice. This is a thing yeah. in your yeah, which is even stranger. <laughs> yeah, in, in your video games, you know, instead of cracking down on stuff like this, which is hard. Granted, interesting. Uh, I guess I don't. I wonder know. if it's going to cause some sort of audio delay for for games. It probably where it's like they have to filter all the audio through this thing, and then you hear it after it comes out of the filter. It probably cause a, a little bit of a delay. I yeah. like I like the idea of so many of these racists and white nationalists uh, coming to this uh, and having to confront like to actually hit the button yeah. mm. where they're N-word like on. <laughs> racism, yeah, xenophobia yeah. all the way up because this is basically <laughs> saying are you a racist which everyone else will want to yeah. be like well, no, I don't want to be a racist, but it should I, just I, be want a, the, I want the sliders. It to should be, be a how racist are you slider, and you move it from racist to not yeah. racist, and then not and racist, then you don't hear any of this fucking shit. Right, and then, like, as you move the slider over, it can have the little subtext underneath that changes, being like, you've selected <laughs> this, this version. bombs You won't hear the R's on this. <laughs> oh, it's... It's brutal, dude. I this You've dubbed yourself seventy five percent racist. They can't <laughs> fucking this won't come out. I it's 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 weird that nobody apparently noticed this until now. This happened a few weeks ago at GDC, but uh people people be making their voices heard. Imagine being at GDC and pitching it. Yeah, imagine being the going. white dude on the fucking screen here, standing in front of white nationalism, being like, Well, yeah. we think our technology we're not saying white nationalism is good. We're just saying that if people want it, who are we to stop them? <laughs> and I mean, if they only want some, yeah. who are we to tell them that they can't have it? Who the fuck thought it would be good the, to put N-word the, on a GDC deck? <laughs> like, <laughs> the pitch. The pitch would and be like, I like how the default on the screen cap is on. on. Everything is set to maximum <laughs> racist. Yeah. My pitch, if I was that guy, would be like, we... We think that if we can get a white nationalist to oh, even bring himself down to 90%, yeah. that's a win for one, all of us. One white nationalist moving the slider down is a win. Yeah. Uh, that's wild. Jesus. I wonder what, uh, if you had everything on the absolute minimum, like, mm -hmm. I wonder what you would hear. Like, maximum Silence. censorship? Depends. Yeah, like, just white because, noise. I mean, aggression is one of them. White so what noise. if it's, just, like, just noise? Matt, get on that white. point! 
and you're and you're yeah. a little loud in your voice like does that get does that get censored that'd be aggression that would definitely be yeah aggression. that would be aggression yeah. Right? Yeah, i don't want to hear yeah. aggression <laughs> yeah, no Turn i got my slider all the way up everything down but end boss. body shame me yeah. <laughs> i need this <laughs> uh, drawn right. to death oh, sorry sorry Kev. i was just gonna say i would keep name calling all the way up for sure yeah gotta you, yeah, you got trash stupid thought. duty head <laughs> you gotta get That's past the a filter. little hot there you yeah. new, <laughs> new insults to get past the filter that, that beats a 25 percent but not a 30 yeah exactly <laughs> squeeze that in <laughs> uh david jaffe creator of drawn to death create uh, says that sony's working on a counterpunch to game pass this is all alleged and reading through the story, uh, you know, David Jaffe, incredible guy, made the, the original God of War, mm -hmm. not really anything good since, uh, at Twisted Metal, did, did a few Twisted Metals here and there. Uh, in this interview with Jaffe, uh, he, 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 first he's like, oh yes, a contact of mine at Sony says that some, some Game Pass guest program is coming down the pipes, some counterpunch to Game Pass. And then he goes on to say, I'm worried it might just be backward compatibility. So... I, I saw a that's few other. Not, that that's not a counterpunch. That's like mm, yeah. That's like what would be a good uh, analogy for that? That's like almost getting up to their weight. Yeah, it's for uh, the fight. That's that's like putting on the necessary required weight for the fight. I saw other websites running this story, so I ran it as well. It to me sounds like Jaffe doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. He he knows that there is like a a capital S something coming down the pipes, but he obviously has no idea what it is if he says, I'm worried it might just be backwards compatibility. So yeah, that's, yeah, that's weird. I, uh, if that's it, first of all, I'm incredibly surprised because they basically came out and said at one point, that's we just can't do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we built this whole thing on eggshells. Um, so I don't think that's even right unless, I mean, technology changes, but, yeah, but even if it is right and it becomes fully backwards compatible, that's not, that's adding value to your platform. That is not adding value to your service. Yeah. Well, depending unless on you then how offer all that. I guess. Yeah, unless you then offer all that backwards compat stuff for free. Yeah. Last summer as well, Jim Ryan said that they couldn't do a Game Pass rumor because their budgets were too big, over a hundred million dollars often on their first party games, and and Game Pass was just unsustainable apparently. I feel like Sony's going the other way, which we'll talk about with another story that you have. But it seems like they kind of have their they're mega projects, and they just want to stick to those. What's the other? Let's go to the other story. The top one. Uh, Last of Us one. Naughty Dog <laughs> is uh, working on a Last of Us remake for PS Five. That makes a lot of sense. There was a uh, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, you don't think so? I kind of think that they that game does not need to be remade for the PS Five. I nearly as bad as a lot of their games need to be remade for the PS5. I wonder if they're going to do any retconning. I wonder if they're going to like remember there was a little bit of like wishy washiness between one and two where like eh, was the was the hospital really like that was this did this character even mm -hmm. have red hair? I wonder if they're going to do a little retconning yeah. towards the end there and 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 make the two mesh up a, a little better. A lot of people still maintain the doctor you deal with at the end of the first game is black. Well, Which... we'll have to play the remaster and find out for sure. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember one way or the other, but in, yeah, in two, the doctor is definitely white. Mm -hmm. Abby's uh, dad. Uh, this project was apparently being worked on. Uh, a team within Sony was working on it for the last few years, but they they claim they weren't provided the resources to finish the project, and it's uh, now been moved to Naughty Dog. I would way rather Naughty Dog be doing stuff other than remastering The Last of Us 4, a game that I just played last year and is totally serviceable yeah so would i but you know we got these new consoles and games will not be coming up for a long time it, it is time to remaster whatever we can it's buy buy a little time for our dev teams mm -hmm. to get caught up yeah uh, and oh boy are we gonna have time well we're watching the 4k remaster of final fantasy advent children out on june the 8th yeah, it definitely get snaps for that. Kevin, would so you good. can you uh, can you read the note here, Kevin, on the sheet? Snap for it. Can you read the uh, story, here, please? Uh, so there's uh, many DVDs, <laughs> many many DVDs. Biggest loser ever seen. Mm -hmm. Sephiroth. Mm -hmm. Do 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 do. Sephiroth. Mm -hmm. Dull doddle. Oh, okay, you're not even. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta, you gotta sing it right, all right? 
That's what I was doing. Da 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 Many many DVDs. Biggest loser ever seen. Uh, I I will watch Advent Children after playing Final Fantasy VII. I will watch that 4K remaster. It's good. I it's I know banger. I've seen it. I have ago. also seen it. I I feel like Matt. I feel like you and I were at uh, Ben's cabin one year, and somebody had a PS Plus, uh, uh, one of those handheld things PSP. with Advent Children on it, and I remember watching it in like the middle of the night one day with, with earbuds and like in my sleeping bag. And I think I watched it because you watched it like the night before and you're like, dude, you gotta watch this movie. <laughs> I don't remember that, but that checks out. It's, it's got Tifa, yo. Uh, that's very funny. Just fucking crouched over the P. The UMD, who do we know who has Advent Children on <laughs> UMD? Uh, I remember who it was, but I don't know if I should say it yeah, on the internet. It's fine. Very funny. Uh, yeah. It was... Uh, no, it was Matt. Oh, other Matt. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Matt. Heck of a show. Uh, what my whistle here? Good uh, film. Where are we? Where are we on these uh, news stories? Uh, WWE 2K22. We're gonna see it this week. Nothing really uh, this weekend. Rather, Ooh. we'll see it at WrestleMania. Nothing really to report other than I hope it doesn't suck. It has to look like I feel like it has to look entirely different. Yeah. This has to that like I, they need to put something up on the screen that it's like oh yeah they redid this from the ground up. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. Seth Rollins has a gun now. Yeah. If yeah, if they, if they can give a couple of the wrestlers like Kamehamehas or Spirit yeah. Bombs. Guest star Reggie fils wins the Royal Rumble or something. Yeah, yeah. Battle Royale. Uh, this story I pulled off of uh, Disney Today, uh, there's, there's no news other than this thing exists. No one knows what it is other than the people who've seen it. Uh, and... and can't really describe it, apparently. Uh, Disney has apparently built a, what they call a real working lightsaber. People present described uh, the person wielding it as taking a metal handle out of a box and described it as looking like it does in the movie, a, in the movies, a retractable light blade. Okay, they already had that up till now. Did they, though? They never had. Yeah. You've never had a retractable. You've had, like, a fucking plasma torch. I've seen the plasma yeah. welder. But yeah. like, there's yeah, never been the there's back. never no, been had, some kind of like with, it, it had like the fucking glass case in it. But oh yes, well yeah. they they say yeah. retractable light blade is is a blade made of light is is presumably a blade that can just pass through stuff. Right. Sorry, I thought you were getting to that part, and I was what you were describing the handle thing, and I was oh, like, yeah, no, they've no. always had those. <laughs> no, <laughs> this this the, I was from, setting you up for the big I fucking see. reveal. Sorry, <laughs> from uh, from the way this was described, this man took a lightsaber out of a box and went. <laughs> And it, mm. I, I assume it's not the ultra deadly plasma torch because you're not going to be able to sell those, obviously. Yeah, but I mean, uh, well, like, what is it made of that uh, that it can't kill you? I think it could be. Or I, I wonder if something like way. could you do a hologram somehow? Holograms are pretty advanced these days. Could you somehow have a, a hologram the length of a blade or like sure, like and a then finite the laser pointer? Then it only goes to the to the like. Like what if you put it in front of something that's closer than it's width? It disappears or does it come yeah. out the other side? No, it should it would Yeah, it would disappear. Uh, it would disappear. Yeah. A real lightsaber coming or something. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's, uh, I feel like I'm not kidding. I feel like I've heard this dream since I was seven years old. Yeah. No, so uh I. yeah. And and kind of like uh graphics in video games getting better. The little plastic retractable one came out, and I was like, "This is the best. They'll never get better than this." <laughs> and then the ne and then the next one came out, and I was like, "Oh, it's a flawless, perfect lightsaber." And now we're still talking about. It. They finally got it. Would... But you can't kill someone with it. How about when you make one that you can kill someone with? Then we can start calling it a real quote unquote lightsaber. Yeah, I want a real cast. toy lightsaber, the training saber. You know, yeah. if they somehow, yeah. I don't know, if anyone can do it, Disney has the money. Some kind of a, a finite length light blade. Man, I would, I would. Sell those, everything like, I own. <laughs> those, the ones that they sell now with the glass things, obviously, they're not real because you could hit them when they're closed. But they look incredible when they're lit up. Oh, yeah, they, they look do. just like a yeah. lightsaber. Yeah, yeah, they're really well done. I want to go to Galaxy's Edge so badly. So I saw badly. something uh, uh, kind of tangentially on this, but I can't remember all the details because I just saw it skimming social media. But they had the first look at the animatronic Spider-Man uh, in Disneyland. In like Marvel Planet or whatever the fuck their little Marvel area is called at Disneyland, yeah. and it's just an animatronic Spider-Man, and it's straight up flipping through the air. It's fucking way above everything, and it's flipping through the air. 
Like it's a real. I don't know what's keeping it up there. It's a real <laughs> robot. It's a real animatronic thing. It's a real robot <laughs> flying through the sky. This is like the 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 military test for those automated robots <laughs> just in disguise. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. So like when they're testing that, was it just like yeah, it's looking good. <laughs> like Spider-Man robot just comes slamming no down. So the thing I saw, you couldn't see it actually shooting webs, which would probably make sense because you're going to see it from so far down below. Mm. Uh, but if other than not visibly seeing that it wasn't shooting webs, it was still doing like the arm motions and then swinging that way and. Hmm. It's fucked. I don't know what's keeping it up there. Though. Interesting. Maybe it's an I'd actor. be a little bit scared to be below yeah. it. I mean, it's a person. I want to go. That's not animatronic then. And uh, oh, they—they they told. I thought you were just assuming it was animatronic. It is definitely animatronic. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I want to go and like get sassed by the stormtroopers. You know, I want to go and and uh, mm -hmm. like like dress up accordingly and pick a side. You know. It's great. It's wanna... a fantastic experience. Oh, I, I want to build a lightsaber so bad. It sounds. You cool. spend. You spend half the time at Disney World thinking, I can't fucking believe how much money I spent to be here. And then the other half being like, it's I, it's literally worth every penny. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe how much money I'm sta spending to stay here. Yeah, yeah exactly. Sure. Always stay at Disney World. That's my pro tip. <laughs> That's uh, Kyle's. For itself. Brando's OP and by, tip of the week. <laughs> there you go. And by pays for itself, I mean you'll probably cry when you see the bill. <laughs> but it'll be better than if you didn't stay at Disney World. <laughs> expensive uh death loop delayed till september the 14th womp womp probably be a lot more delays coming and my last story mlb the show is coming to game pass on day one i don't know if i put this on the list but i knew this story was here that's me you put this on the list that's me i put it on the list i think it's the biggest story of the world uh, of the <laughs> week is this the first time mlb the show has ever been on xbox Yes, it is a like has always notoriously been a strictly PlayStation uh, game, which is crazy because it is the only baseball game licensed baseball game on the market. So you just didn't get to play the real simulation baseball style game unless you had a PlayStation. Uh, okay. And then for not only a while ago, how crazy it was when they announced it's finally coming to Xbox. Uh, then for Xbox to then later be like, also it's free day one with Game Pass is fucking, <laughs> fucking filled down crazy. Yeah, it's I can't wait. It's a it's a fantastic game. It's right up there with FIFA for what I think are the most like uh, year to year quality video games. Like they just don't really have the missteps that a lot of sports franchises do. Yeah, um, and I'm super stoked uh, to play like probably multiple hundred and sixty two game seasons. Good lord. Cool. I've never played a baseball game, but now that I'm all in on sports games and mm -hmm. it's on Game Pass, uh, would, if I can make a if I can make a, a player that's me and and you know li mm -hmm. level them up and 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 baseball's I like fun. I guess basketball's a little bit like this too, but hockey, even though you play different, you can play different styles. It doesn't really feel like different styles. Uh, basketball's a little bit better, where it's like, oh, you can be like a big a big man or a shooter or or something. Baseball is like you are playing a whole different game if you're a pitcher or a back catcher or an outfielder. Yeah. It's uh, it's really cool. Are, I don't really even know how baseball games play, which is, is pretty rare. Mm -hmm. Like, maybe I've never played a baseball game. Maybe add that one to the list. <laughs> wow. I wish they'd make another fight night. Didn't they, they, drop the, didn't they just? They dropped those pretty hard after UFC. Right. Oh, didn't right. one just come out? I don't think so. In UFC three, UFC it might not four have been a or something. Fight night, but didn't they? They're they're still making UFC games, are they not? Yeah, they're making UFC games, but I want another boxing game like the Fight Nights. They were really oh, well sorry. done, I really see. well polished. I, I don't I, know if you ever played them, but they were they were awesome. No, I I thought Fight Night was a UFC game. No, I've never. I think Warren was a big Fight Night guy. Never boxed, never the game but he's also done. a big UFC guy. So we got yeah. a glass chin, glass chin. <laughs> Uh, that's all I got for news here. Anybody else got any stories below their pockets? That Diablo remake looks pretty good. Does it? Does it? Oof. Does it? <laughs> Oof. Like, I guess. You want to pay 60 bucks for a graphic pass, I guess. They did that thing with Warcraft 3, and, and everyone went, this is dumb, and they did it with Diablo, and it was like, oh, I love it! <laughs> I guess. I think it's I pay $60 just, for graphic passes all the time. I think it's just because it's literally 
the Diablo port with a couple quality of life things just reskinned. Just go play Diablo! The the only quality of life thing is the shared stash. All that other stuff they talked about came to Diablo 2 eventually. Did the instant gold pickup then? I don't know if instant gold Diablo? pickup. I don't know if instant gold pickup did, but they, surely they could patch it in. All right, just go play surely. Diablo 2. No, it looks know. really good. It shouldn't be there's full price. A, it should there's be. There's a couple like there's a toggle like you can actually do a toggle in game. I was watching a streamer do that. He was toggling a, a certain zone, and it was pretty mind blowing how much they've added to the zones. Um, just with the with what they could do these days. I remember Diablo 2 was like a, a the formative game for me. It was one of the, the first games I bought for myself. Uh, as a very young man, I remember thinking that the like weird uh, naked lady demon from the first boss was kind of sexy, I guess. I don't, maybe she <laughs> looks good in HD. I don't know. Maybe Andariel, big, uh, big pierced nipples, you know, chains going all crazy like. I think. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I remember. Yep. I remember nipple chains. It's all, all I remember. Oh yeah. An arm, oh, yeah. like like a bunch of arms, right? She's bringing a yeah, pair she, for you. Bunch she of has arms. The arms up more, the back. more to embrace me with. More to. And the goat, the yeah. goat legs. Nipple, nipple ring legs? chains. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Cock rings. Legs. And Dariel. They. Spike dildos. It's fine, I guess. I don't know. It's. Blizzard is not in my good books. Like That's Brando fair. says, I'll pay sixty dollars for a graphic pass without batting an eye, depending I'm on where doing it comes it from. For the fucking Mass Effect games coming out, but uh, <laughs> I don't know. Warcraft Three remaster sucked. This yeah, just feels like they. I, mean, I, I know they don't need money, but like I don't know. Diablo Four is gonna be out soon, you know. Diablo Three is out. Path of Exile exists. There are so many good other games you could play. Diablo Two you still exists roll. like it does. You know, you can yeah. roll on the console version. That's only Diablo Three. <laughs> fucking roll. Yeah. It's a version for me. That's a, I. They should let you do that in Diablo 4. Plug a controller in, let you roll on PC. Fuck yeah. Just add a roll. Mix it up. No. You should have just called it Diablo 3 Roll Edition. Boom. <laughs> Got him. Uh, yeah, that's all, the, that's, that's, that's all the thoughts I have on Diablo. More like... Diablos. Boom! <laughs> Good, save. Good save. If you missed out on D2 and you're interested... d poo. It's worth it. Woo! <laughs> uh, yeah, it's it's a weirdly it's a it's, it's like so nostalgic. It is the formative game. It, it is more more hours into that as a young man than anything else. Like all those cutscenes are just burned into my fucking <laughs> brain. Every single voice line. Uh, just hearing the town music. Yeah, so good. And that first cutscene where he like goes into the bar and it burns down, and that that barkeeper who looks like a fucking monster in the original cutscene is like, is, "Would you like anything?" I still remember his really stupid like, "Can I get you something?" voice. Oh, <laughs> uh, and then they Such travel great. east, always into the east. Stay a while and listen. Maybe I should play that again. <laughs> head, head on down. So, <laughs> head on down to Loot Go Lane. Exactly. What was the third city? All I remember is Ormus. You now speak to Ormus. It was in the jungle. Yeah, it was the worst act. Too. And, uh, I hated that no, act. what? You meet the Dark Wanderer in the beginning, and oh, and, and like you terrible. almost catch the Wanderer, and then he like poof, disappears. You fight Mephisto. <laughs> you know, the other cutscene that one is so good. Getting to like the last half of Act Three was good, but the it was not fun. Yeah, it's because you had to fight the pygmies. The pygmies just decimated you. They could they they <laughs> when they stacked up, they breathed fire, and that that fire breath would just destroy you the first few times you found it. Yeah, yeah. What a time, Marius. I wonder what Marius and oh yeah, and you like you think the 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 wanderer is Tyrael for like the first half of that game. Oh, yeah. maybe I'm coming <laughs> around. Did they do the expansion as well? Did they do Lord of Destruction? Yeah, yeah. It's all in there. That's a good cutscene too. Spirit flies up and into that guy, and he blows up. It's crazy how much <laughs> of these I still remember. What's the Karost? That was uh, Karost. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's the the gates of uh, what are they? What are they? Cesaron or or Scenarian or was the Act Five? You had to go into to Mount Ariette, but to get there, you had to pass yeah. through the the gates and fight the. Anyways. 
We'll call that the a area podcast. summit. That was a top <laughs> tier farming spot. Yeah. Oh, you had, you had to not kill Pindle. Remember, don't finish yeah. the Pindle quest because if you right. do, Pindle doesn't respawn, and he can drop any item in the game. So you have to farm Pindle. He's the only person who can drop certain certain uh, items. That's right. Don't Hindle farm Pindle. <laughs> Stop on a showstopper. Uh, <laughs> Kevin Meyer, thank you very much for being here. Oh, I guess before I do the wrap, go check out the Patreon over at patreon.com slash Talk Reckless Podcast. We have uh, anime podcasts up there. The entirety of the first season of Attack on Titan is now available for all patrons as well. So go and uh, check that out. If you've never watched Good stuff. Attack on Titan or if uh, you know, you're not really into anime or, or you're not sure if you are, Attack on Titan is a is a good show, full stop. It is an anime, so, you know, sometimes, you know, characters That's are... That's already the line. Characters are a little <laughs> long-winded in the way that they sometimes are in Japanese shows, but it is a... Is there any, uh, any falling into boobs? Uh, no. No, there. Nope. It, is, it is surprisingly trope-free. Is, is, How about nipple chains? Uh, not that I've seen so far. No. Nope. Female Cough. Titan could have some big... It's like you're sucking on a set of house keys. Um... <laughs> Weebs.ca is where you can find the <laughs> uh, anime podcast. Uh, Kevin Byer, <laughs> thanks very much for joining us. It's a pleasure, pleasure having you here as always. I'm uh, looking for my house keys right now. <laughs> rusty, rusty metal. Uh, Brandon Lynch. Oh, that the house keys are in his mouth. Ah, I see what we're doing. That's gross. Uh, Kyle B. Thank you for having me. And to you at home, thanks very much for uh, watching or listening here to this podcast. If you wanted to stop quickly and rate and review us on your podcast, my of choice, I would very much appreciate that. I think we're a five-star podcast, only. and hopefully you do too. We'll see you next week. Go check out the anime podcast. Go uh, do get it. Get vaccinated. Weebs out. Weebs out. And we'll see you here next week on the next episode of the Talking Reckless Podcast. See you then.